Hello lovely people, I'm here with another bread recipe, simple and easy. Without a stand mixer, you can still make these beautiful rolls. I avoid kneading with my hands because it hurts my fingers. Let's proceed. Add 500 grams, that's 4 cups of strong bread flour in the stand mixer bowl. Add 12 ml instant yeast. Add 40 grams of milk powder, that's a 1 third cup. 1 quarter cup sugar, that's 50 grams. Make sure your milk is warm, not hot, warm. Add uh, gradually. Let's begin mixing. As we are making soft dinner rolls, it requires a rich dough. What I learned from the internet, the crushier and chewier the bread, the less fat in the dough. This is known as lean dough. The softer and the richer the bread, the more fat in the dough. This is known as red dough. If you have been baking for some time and you're experimenting, you will definitely notice the differences. Add one egg, one teaspoon salt, and the remaining milk. Remember I mentioned red dough, so we need milk to activate the yeast. For the softest dinner roll, you definitely need a whole milk. Let's add butter, about four tablespoons. The butter gives it a very flavorful and soft dinner roll. If you are kneading with hand, that would be around eight to 12 minutes, but I, with the stand mixer, I need it for eight minutes. Add oil in the bowl and just uh, transfer the dough and cover, allow to rise for one to three hours or until it double in size. After two hours, point down the rising dough. Sprinkle flour if needed and uh, transfer the dough on the surface area. Shape it into a nice bowl and now divide into 12 equal pieces. With this dough, you can shape uh, into many different ways, included twisted rolls, knotted rolls, round shape, any shape that you prefer it doesn't need to be just the one uh, demonstrated in this video now let's take a piece and straight the top of the dough straight to the other end if you have watched this video until this time that means you love my mama's recipes the chef in the house well please don't forget to like and subscribe Transfer the shape rolls on a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Let's allow the dough to rest and rise for the final time called proofing for 20 to 30 minutes. Brush the rolls with egg wash. Beware, an overproof dough won't expand much during baking and neither will an underproof one. Bake on 190 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. Look at these beauties. They look yummy. Now they say the proof is in the pudding. Let's judge based on direct experience with it. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.